All right, it's lunchtime and I'm a little hungry. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna make some uh, milkweed seed pods and put up here, or some fried uh, milkweed seed pods. And uh, basically, this time of year, which is early uh, summer, it's creeping into midsummer. The milkweeds in uh, my region are just waning from their full blossoming, uh, their flowers coming out. And then the flowers give way to the seed pods, which is part of their uh, reproductive cycle. And what happens is um, these grow and then they get bigger, then they get hard, and then they pop open. And then what comes out of the inside is like large, like dandelion fluff, basically. Um, basically their seed heads have little, their seeds have little parachutes on them and then they blow away and propagate themselves someplace else. Um, you want to catch them early on um, at about this time of the year when they look about like this and at about this size. Uh, and what you can do is you can um, boil them, you can steam them, you can fry them. Uh, I haven't tried baking, but I'm sure you can bake them. Uh, and what 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 you what you can do the the whole piece the whole seed pod can be eaten uh, at this stage, or you can just separate and pull out the insides okay so this is what the inside looks like of these seed pods at this stage and they are um, soft and succulent and they look like this and these are the seeds the the premature seeds and this is what would develop into like a little feather or fluff that would blow this individual seeds away but at this stage they're really it's hard to describe they just have their own different little texture and uh, they're they're edible, um, raw, and they don't taste bad at all. They have their own little neat, unique flavor. Um, it's not really disagreeable, and it's sort of sweet, kind of this really kind of sweet. So you can you can you can husk these seed pods and just use the insides and in recipes and things, or you can cook the whole thing. Um, you know, this this is kind of like half shell sort of thing. You could pull out the the inside and mix them with something else, and then three stuff them, cover them with cheese or whatever. You know, do something real artsy like that if you wanted to, gourmet. Um, or you can just cook up the whole thing and eat it as is. Um, you can cook the separate parts as long as this isn't too tough, uh, too old. Uh, so you can cook the inside separately and then cook this separately. You can cook it whole. Um, yeah, so there's lots of ways you can cook these, and they're actually really very good. They're not disagreeable at all. Um, I would cook the, the husk though. This you can fry or steam or boil or whatever. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just cleaning these off. And you don't have to worry about the, the, the sap on that. That'll wash off. And all that is really is just latex. Milkweed sap is latex. It's rubber. And they were, I think, if I remember correctly, in World War II, um, they were looking at cultivating, if they hadn't already, um, large fields of milkweeds to su supplement rubber. Uh, so the, the latex, and it does have some medicinal properties, I believe. I think it, it helps with um, skin tags and warts and stuff like that. Um, at any rate, um, don't, you don't have to worry about the sap. This will wash off, and then I'm just going to break off the stems and get rid of some of the flower heads and, and rinse these off. Some of these I'm going to eat right away. Like I said, I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make some uh, tempura out of these, and then um, the others I'm just going to blanch, which is dip them in some boiling water for 30 seconds to a minute, probably about a minute to two minutes, and then I'm going to store them for later for other dishes and stuff. Okay, I know I said. Um, Tempura. Um, tempura is a specific recipe and it's a specific way of doing uh, Japanese deep frying. Um, this is not really technically going to be it. It's kind of different. Basically, I'm just going to do some <laughs> some fried um, uh, milk milkweed seed milkweed seed pods. Um, and I have some uh, potato starch here and some uh, an egg and some water. It's probably about a half to a quarter of a cup of water. And I'm just making an egg wash. And um, as far as breading and stuff and, fr and frying um, vegetables, you can always get some commercial brand um, uh, batter if you're not into making your own. Generally, batter is just flour, salt, pepper, seasoning, salt, garlic, salt, uh, garlic powder, um, and whatever else you want to put in there. Um, and then you can use um, beer, milk, 
uh, egg or a combination thereof uh, and dip them in and then shake it shake your your uh, dip your food into the liquid and then you know put it into your dry and then fry it or you can do that process back and forth till you get up a thick coating and then fry it so that's basically the concept um, so I'm just gonna make this kind of quick and dirty because this is my lunch hour <laughs> and I need to get back to work um, so anyways just kind of beat that a little bit and then I just want to put these in there so that they're already kind of washed so it's just like an egg wash basically all right and I want to make sure that my uh, grease is hot and then what I do is we take one here and we can just kind of just kind of toss it around lightly like that probably take another one and I toss it around lightly it doesn't take much just like so okay. one more and I think we'll do one more and you can do this with a bag you can use a paper bag or a plastic bag um, that's actually a little bit more less messy so now we're ready to put these in the fryer okay so the oil is nice and hot turn it down just a little bit and then using chopsticks here just put those in there like so I don't want to float just kind of let them bopple around a little bit give them some time to fry up and then while you're doing that way the frying you can bread more and kind of continue a cycle start a cycle going Okay, you want to catch these just as they're starting to turn uh, like a light yellow or golden brown technically or however dark you like it but it's already been about almost two minutes two and a half minutes it's rotating because they like to float if you have something that you can set them down so they're totally totally submersed um, without making a big mess you can employ that but it's better just to watch them and keep dipping them making sure that they're getting coated and then just as they start to turn brown I'm gonna lift them up and you can transport them over to a, a straining area so I've got my strainer here um, just on a strainer like this or something similar and at that point you can um, add a little bit of salt if you like to taste. I'm just adding some salt. And then we'll do another batch. Alright, I'm <clears throat> I'm working double double eyes here because I have to blanch some. I've got some boiling water and I'm just going to pour these in here and I just want them to be in there just for a little bit and then I'm going to pull them out and those will be blanched. And these are frying up. Keep these moving. Oftentimes you want to get rid of some of the, the fall off so it doesn't burn. to boil it all.
little bit of little double eye action there to turn this heat down and so you there you pretty much have it um this is um fried milkweed seed pods and these are blanched see how that pretty they are um you could boil these up a little bit more and you would be you know they'd be thoroughly cooked add some butter some salt and pepper and there you go um or you can uh, put these in the freezer bag and put them and store them in the freezer label it make sure that you know what they are uh, when you got them and then label it and, and pull them out and use for later uh, and here with these uh, with the fried uh, milkweed pods you just add a little bit of salt to it or whatever the favorite dipping sauce if you'd like and then you can just go right ahead and just dive right in these are really really good Kind of one of my favorite delicacies of the year. Yeah. So there you go. That's how you cook up some milkweed seed pods.